Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is our lesson 6 on Catalon Automation Tool Concepts. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how can we create test suite and then how can we run test suites in Catalon Studio. So as you all know, I have already published uh, 5 YouTube videos covering different concepts of how to perform record and replay to automate the test cases, how can you use manual mode to automate the test cases and how can we use record sorry scripting mode to automate the test cases. So I would suggest you guys to uh, visit those videos before you proceed with this particular session. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos on these concepts. So our agenda items for this session is, I'm going to explain you what is test suite. So test suite is a collection of multiple different test cases or duplicate test cases. Why do we use duplicate test cases? I'm going to explain you in the session. Okay. And we can also modify our execution information. So what does this execution information contains? I'm going to explain you once we jump onto the system. And you can set up implicit timeout for the entire test suite. And also you can set up the retry failed execution immediately. Basically you can set up retry count. Okay. And also you can manage the entire test case list within the test suite. And you can also set the mail recipients to send the test reports basically the test reports with along with the test summary reports you can send to the mail recipients and also i'm going to teach you how can we execute a test suit once you create a test suit with the collection of the test cases okay so now let's jump onto the system and let me show you how can we perform all these activities by using test studio okay okay so this is my uh, catalan studio okay so as you remember so i have already explained you in my lesson 3 4 5 regarding uh, creation or automating a test case by using record and replay and then we have automated another test case tc02 by using uh, scriptless mode right and also we have automated another test case uh, 03 by using scripting mode right so now let's create a test suit now how to create a test suit in catalan automate uh, studio so if you see the folder structure here i can see that i have a test cases object repository and test suits right so under test suit right click on the test suit create a new test suit okay and then name this as smoke testing let's assume the test suit name is smoke testing and click on ok so as soon as you click on ok it's going to create a test suit here right and this is your test suit wizard okay and where now we need to add smoke test cases to this test suit right right so let's add a uh, click on add and then if you see i can see all the test cases that we created earlier you can just select these test cases and click ok but before doing that i want to arrange my test cases see because whenever you create a test cases you have to arrange your test cases in a structured manner right for that right click on test cases and then create a folder so I'm going to create a folder called login folder, login tests. And let me create another folder called registration tests. Tests. Okay. Now these, these test cases are all these test cases are related to login tests, right? 
I want to drag and drop them. So I want, I want to move them to login test. Just drag and drop into login test. In the same way, this test case 2 and then test case 3 also belongs to login only. Drag and drop into login. Right? So now if you see, I have moved all the test cases to login tests. Right? I can see all the test cases move to login test. Now go back to your test suit and now add your test cases. If you see here, it shows you entire structure including the folders, parent folders. So I can expand this. I want to add all these four test cases. Let's assume. Okay. I have already, I have already added all the four test cases into test suit. Right. Now, if I want to execute this test suit, you go here and then select your corresponding browser. Let's say I want to select a Chrome browser. Okay. Or, okay, I have selected Chrome browser. I want to run this. If you directly click on execute, it executes in the default browser Chrome. Let ex execute these test cases. What happens? It should execute all three test cases. Right. The first test case second test case and third test case okay so now let's see what happens so it's opening it started executing the first test case it's going to open the chrome browser okay so it's opened this chrome browser and it's gonna execute the test case and the second test case i think it's uh, it's a scriptless mode okay we created this the second test case is getting executed and the third test case is scripting mode that we automated by using scripting mode test case right so that's why i would suggest you guys to visit my previous videos okay it's completed execution so what if we want to if i want to execute only two test cases okay let me go back to my here I want to execute only two test cases. Then you just need to uncheck. So you just need to uncheck this. If you see, I have unchecked this. Now it's going to execute only two, two test cases. If I want to include all three, just check this one. Check this. So all three test cases will be executed. So all you need to do is check and uncheck this. Okay. And so once the execution is completed, so I have explained you about the reports, right? So I need not to refer my log viewer, but I can go to the reports. If you go to the reports folder, I can see one additional report is being generated. So whenever you run test suits, the reporting will be generated. You have to go to reports. If you see under smoke testing, because I created a folder called smoke testing suit called so smoke testing that's the reason it created a default folder smoke testing under smoke testing i can see a report generated with the date and time double click on this so this is our report if you see it has all the test cases if i want to see the test cases that are failed i can just uncheck this so we don't have any failed test cases if you want to see the test cases related to error, you can select that. If you want to see the test cases that are incomplete, you can do that. So basically you can filter the options here to see the corresponding test cases. And also if you want to see the test case details, right? For this test case, select the test case and click on show test case details. So as soon as you expand show test case details, you can see that this test case has these many steps and you can expand the test case details so that you can see the description and the item in detail okay and if i want to see the test cases details of second test case you just select this you will get all the test cases details here right and third test case you will get all the test case details here so you can see that right and you can hide these test case details again by clicking on test case details. Show test case details, 
high test case details okay and also if you see here at the bottom you can see the summary so the summary says total test cases are so how much i mean how much time it executed what is the start time start time what is the end time how many test cases executed how many test cases passed how many failed how many thrown an error how many skipped how many incomplete it's a summary right and also let me explain couple more options here okay so let's go back to our test suit let me go back to test suit now under test suit you can either delete so once you add the test cases you have an option to delete the selected test case and also you have an option to arrange the sorting order but in which uh in which sorting order the test cases should be executed so you can just move down and move up you can use move down and move up to arrange your test cases so that the test cases executed it will execute in the sequence order okay and also if you expand this execution information you can set an implicit timeout what do you mean by implicit timeout that means the test case the execution basically the tool waits for a page to load it waits for so many seconds whatever you set so what do you mean by use default that means if you go to project if you go to project and settings and if you see execution under execution if you go to web ui you can see that the wait is by default it is set as 30 wait until the page loaded so default is 30 seconds right so that's what it is showing here so that means it waits for 30 seconds if you want to override that default value you can override and you can specify 40 seconds here so that is one option you have and also during this test suit test suit level you can specify that okay for this test suit in the test suit whenever a test case is failed i want to retry the failed executions immediately twice so i can specify that rekind retry count also retry failed executions immediately two times right and also retry after executing all so if you want to select this how many times you want to retry you can retry also you can specify that as well okay and also you can specify mail recipients you can add the mail recipients here so that once the test cases are executed the test report will be sent to the mail recipient okay so all these options you already have so mail recipient how to configure mail recipient and all these things i'm going to explain you in the upcoming sessions okay and also there is another tab called show data binding so so why do we use data binding and how do we you do a data driven testing i'm going to explain you in the upcoming session okay so data binding means basically you can create a test data and associate your test data to the test suit and also you can create a test data of excel sheets and then you can associate those excel sheets to perform the test test data driven testing to the test to test suit so how can we perform data driven testing how can we associate test data to the corresponding test cases so that we can use the test data while running the test cases by using test suits so all these things i'm going to explain you while uh, sorry i'm going to explain you in the upcoming sessions for now you can just i'm explaining you what are all the options you have for the test suits okay uh i think so we are we have covered pretty much all the concepts how to create test suits and how can you execute the test suits so in the upcoming sessions i'm going to explain you how can we create test suite collections and then how can we perform data driven testing 
and how can we perform parallel testing right how can we run tests in parallel and how can we run test by using multiple browsers how can we perform parallel testing so all these concepts i'm going to cover in the next session if you have any queries please do provide your comments in the comment box i'm going to reply to your queries please subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos on these concepts thank you